This is the best replacement grip for tennis you've never heard of. Mostly because it's from a company that makes squash rackets. But it's a replacement grip at the end of the day. What prevents you from using it on a tennis racket? If you're like Harry from Tennis Spin who uses just a grip, then give this a try. I'm definitely never looking back and I have a shocking amount of these stocked up in the basement like a racket sports prepper or something. Let me tell you folks a quick story to convince you that using gear from other adjacent sports isn't a crazy idea. One of the things I discovered once I got out of university and into the real world is just how little university had prepared me for it. Despite being an engineer, most of my work revolved around convincing other people of my ideas and designs. So reading and learning about psychology, sales, marketing, and negotiating had a far better payoff in the real world than my engineering education ever did. So I now believe that it's often far more important to learn about things adjacent to your main domain once you have acquired a good enough knowledge in that main domain. Okay, back to grips. Regular viewers of this channel will know that squash was my sport of choice before I moved over to tennis during COVID. For those that aren't squash players, it's not common to use over grips in squash, so finding a replacement grip that you gel with, it's pretty important. I had always struggled to find one that worked for me. They would either wear out too quickly or didn't have the right combination of tackiness and gift that I needed. That changed when I tried out rackets from a new Canadian squash brand called Zamsa. Not only is their PXT Incognito my racket of choice now, they were also nice enough to send me their X-Blue replacement grip as a bonus for supporting them at such an early stage. And man, did it change everything. The best way I can describe finally meeting my grip soulmate is how Harry Potter must have felt when he first got his wand from Ollivanders. Zamsa's X-Blue grip is best suited for folks that have a looser grip on their racket. If you come from tennis, the idea of switching grips for different shots is pretty normal, but squash is mainly played with a continental grip, with you just shifting your wrist into different positions to hit different shots, similar to how you would hit volleys in tennis. I'm one of the few, in my circles at least, that uses a slightly different variation of the continental grip for each shot in squash. So I tend to hold my racket pretty loosely so I can make those minute adjustments to my continental grip. Of course, if the grip is too tacky, then those minute adjustments are hard to make because you get hung up on that grip. And this is exactly why the x -Glue grip works so well in tennis. Switching between my forehand and my backhand grips is a breeze, but when I decide to clamp down on the racket handle, the tackiness comes out of nowhere and it leaves me with a super secure feeling. This kind of tackiness is really unique in my opinion. It feels really responsive. And the best way I can describe it is that it is like the acceleration of an electric car. If you've seen videos of Tesla's drag racing, you know what I'm talking about. The moment you decide to stomp on that gas pedal, the speed comes on in a hurry. And in keeping with the electric car analogy, much like the regenerative braking that comes on the moment you lift off the gas pedal, the tackiness here also starts going away the moment you decide to loosen your paws off the grip. Personally, this grip came at a time when I was struggling a little bit with golfer's elbow. Now, the main culprit there was the fact that I was using a grip size that was a bit too small for me, so I ended up having a death grip on my racket handle. But a loose and relaxed grip goes a long way in reducing the fatigue that causes golfer's elbow. And I only realized this after switching to the x grip, and I credit this with helping me get that loose grip and getting rid of my golfer's elbow. Okay, so let's talk durability. And the only word I have for this is that it is insane. This particular grip has well over 50 hours of play on it and it barely feels any different than a brand new one. And the crazy thing is, the one that came before this had well over 250 hours of play on it, which is insane. I know what you're thinking, bro, that's disgusting. And yeah, but I'll get back to that in a bit. What I want you to focus on is the fact that I played with this for 250 hours before I felt like I needed to replace it. That is insane. This is an older racket of mine, a Dunlop that I don't play with much anymore because the grip size is a bit too small. But guess how long this grip has been on here for? Two years, for more than 50 hours of play. And I'm showing you this to convince you that how this grip performs in a tennis racket versus how it does in a squash racket is not too different. And it still performs to my Goldilocks standard of tackiness. And now let me finally address the disgusting part of using a grip for 250 hours. I have used the Wilson overgrip on my tennis rackets for as long as I can remember because that is what comes closest to performing how the x Blue grip does for me. But you know how long that performance lasts for? Two to three hours, depending on how hot and humid it is outside. And by the time I'm done with it, 
It smells like what I can only imagine my ass crack would after taking a Taco Bell dump on a hot, sweaty, and humid summer's day. That, my friends, is disgusting. No racket that has ever had the x -Lu grip on it has ever smelled bad. And yeah, it may look dirty, and yeah, I could replace it sooner, but no grip has ever felt gross and disgusting. Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a quick idea of what the grips look like up close. So this grip barely has any time on it. Okay, so it's a brand new Zamsa x -Glue grip. Okay, it looks green, looks fresh, it doesn't look as dirty as you can tell when you're comparing these two. These two uh, have both had around 50 hours of playtime on it. Obviously, they look a bit different in terms of how dirty they are because I have different grips for squash as opposed to tennis, but they look very similar. So the one thing I want to point out is you can see up close what the wear is like. Like, of course there's dirt on it, but this is as much wear as I get on my grip uh, in 50 hours. So that's quite impressive because I'm rubbing up against this uh, grip all the time as I make switches to my continental grip for squash. So that's as much wear as I've seen on it. There. The, there is a little bit of a difference in the grip on a tennis racket, and I'll show you the wear first, which is this right here. So this is the most wear I see uh, in 50 hours on a tennis racket. And this, I think, is simply because there's more uh, movement of the racket handle in my grip as I switch between the forehand and the backhand grips or the continental grip. So this is what I will see in about 50 hours. And this is around the time I feel like I would replace it because this doesn't have any material on it anymore, right? So this becomes a bit slippery. So at 50 hours, I would replace this. There's a bit more uh, wear here, but it's really not that bad. It's a bit dirty, but it does not smell. Yeah, it's really good. So let me give you a look at this overall. There we go. So yeah, that's it. Brand new grip, 50 hours on both a squash and a tennis racket. Fantastic grip. The last thing I'll mention is that this is also a very comfortable grip and they advertise that right on the packaging. It has a very sponge-like texture to it that's firm and not mushy at all. And I found that I can cut down on some of the harshness from an all poly setup simply by using this grip. So it's got that going for it too. So yeah, this is the best grip you've never heard of. If you're like Harry from Tennis Spin who uses just a grip, then give this a try. I'm definitely never looking back and I have a shocking amount of these stocked up in the basement like a Rocket Sports Prepper or something. But if you're in the camp that likes to use an overgrip, then well, you're in luck because I got something from Japan that performs just as well as the x -Glue grip does from Zamsa. Although it might be a bit too soon to tell. So stay tuned and the review for this overgrip is going to be coming up on my channel soon. And thanks, I'll see you in the next one.